Well, staying here in France, the government is said to be in talks with the scientific community about using mobile phones to work out who may have been in contact with someone infected with coronavirus and might be able to warn them that they could be in danger. It's a system that's already been used effectively in South Korea, for example. So could it work here or could data protection laws prevent such a measure from going ahead? Well, for more on this, we can, are now joined by Laurie and Anis in charge of tech and data practice for the international law firm Allen and Overy. Thank you very much for being with us. First of all, how does this system work? How sensitive is the data that they would be collecting? Thank you. Um, yeah, we've seen a number of uh, tracking apps uh, being launched in a certain number of countries. This is your case, as you said, in, in South Korea, but it's also the case, for instance, in Singapore or in Israel. So in, in Singapore, to take that case, for instance, um, the app would actually, through the, the, the Bluetooth, would collect a number of data um, in relation to the contacts you would have been having with sick people. And you would then be notified um, if you had been in contact with those people so that you can take the relevant measures being uh, quarantine or, or treatment. Um, so everything would be based on Bluetooth and, and the data collected. So that's Bluetooth and not uh, GPS data, not GPS tracking, from what I understand. Would uh, French or European data protection laws um, hamper any of these efforts to use this technology? Um, yes, so to, to come back on your point, GPS is not an option like it was in, 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 in Israel, for instance. But... Um, Bluetooth may, may be more efficient uh, and more compliant with uh, data protection laws and privacy laws, since it would not systematically record um, the, the contacts that you may have with other people. So it's, it's, it's more compliance with um, the security uh, measures. Um, sorry. <laughs> And, uh, the, I mean, previously, of, of course, the revelations made public by whistleblowers like Edward Snowden have made people particularly sensitive to um, the w way our mobile phones are tracked and, uh, uh, and, the, and our privacy. Um, is, this, um, is, is, is there a way of rolling back this in times of crisis if France did indeed want to? Um, well, there, there are, I, I guess, two elements in your question. The first one is, of course, we need to make sure that um, the society and people are willing to be um, uh, to be part of that uh, measure and to basically be willing to, to download the app and, and to use it in practice to make the system efficient. On the other hand, uh, we do have a legal framework already in Europe and in France that would allow uh, to safely um, implement those mechanisms. And... Um, Obviously, that is the GDPR, the French Data Protection Act, the e-privacy directive. And the, the European Data Protection Board uh, released um, mid-March uh, a, a press release to explain that actually the GDPR already covers the case of pandemics and um, would provide the, the relevant legal basis actually to, to allow, in certain cases, the implementation of, of those mechanisms, of those tracking apps. Thank you very much. I'll have to leave it there. Laurie and Ansis, uh, in charge of data and uh, data tech practice at the international law firm Allen and Overy. Thank you very much for being with us.